Hello everybody, my name is Junet Kulashi and if this is your first time, welcome to the channel. I make videos about tech and creativity. If any of these things excites you, then consider subscribing. Let's start the video. So it's been one week uh, since I unboxed my new Apple Watch Ultra Series 2 and uh, uh, I set up everything in front of you and I have been using it. I'm doing my workout and I'm enjoying every single moment of it. But after three or four days, I started disliking or maybe I was starting getting bored of all these watch faces. The one which Apple uh, gave us in their watch app. So I wanted something uh, different and something very good and something uh, like the conventional and uh, famous watch uh, faces we uh, used to see on our previous watches, uh, wrist watches. And I looked so many pictures, uh, people are like sharing different sort of, uh, I mean, beauty shots of their watches and with all these Rolex and uh, uh, Psycho and uh, uh, Tagore, these type of watch faces. And uh, then I started searching about it, that how I can get these type of faces on my wrist and on my watch. So I come up with all the solutions. And today in this video, I'm going to teach you how you can use all these famous watch faces on your existing watches. Doesn't matter if it is ultra series of, or it is other series, you don't have to worry about it. So without wasting any time, let's jump straight to our watch and our iPhone uh, because you need uh, application on your iPhone and on your Apple watch as well. So let's start the process. All right, so here we are, everything is set. You have to go in app store and download this app name clockology i have already installed this app on my iphone but there is an update let me do it you can see it's a 4.6 star rating app it's very good uh, i have some reservations with it but it just serves the purpose that's it so after installing clockology on your uh, iphone and your apple watch uh, one thing you have to change in the setting of your apple watch go in the general of your uh, apple watch setting and then scroll down to return to clock you have to change it for like one hour uh, the way this thing works that it's going to place a uh, app in front of your existing custom watch face and that open app which is clockology obviously is going to stay uh, whenever you are going to uh, up your wrist or down your wrist so it's not going to go anywhere uh, till one hour um, until you just tap the screen or do something else so this setting you have to make sure to do it in the first okay now go to app clockology open it so after opening it very first time things are very overwhelming so don't worry you don't have to worry about it you can see there is a section join the clockology community the best place to get all these watch faces is to go to telegram app for that you have to download this telegram app you know what this telegram app is it's a messaging app just like whatsapp or uh, any other messenger so just download this app and it will take you directly to the clockology official um, chat page so from here you can easily download any um, existing whichever you uh, see in front of you you can use any of this watch face it's very easy to do let me do uh, one for you and then you will understand th things and I'll tell you more about this clockology app, whatever I have learned so far. So let's say you like this watch face. This is a picture. Okay, underneath this picture, uh, it's a comment section. I mean, 10 people, uh, five people liked it, 10 people gave it th thumbs up. You just open it, leave a comment. If you want to ask anything about this specific watch face or this specific post, you can write it here. And then the person who shared it, he's going to, or she's going to reply you here. And then to download this uh, specific watch face, uh, you uh, click to this psycho helmet, Darth weather, AS dot clock, whatever it is. And um, you can still leave a comment not much people commented on this watch face yet. You just click it, it's going to open this. And from now here, you will have to uh, press this share button. And in this share button, uh, you, you have to select this clockology. If this clockology app is not showing here, the, then most probably it's in the more. You go into more and you scroll down, you will find this clockology app here. And uh, by pressing this edit, you will select this uh, plus sign and it's going to add it on the 
uh, favorites one and then from here you can al also uh, place it in the front or maybe on the back so it is there so now when you will uh, select this uh, clockology now it's going to show you this watch face you know it's running actually seconds uh, needle is moving and you can edit it i haven't tried these edit options i actually opened few of them but uh, i couldn't understand it if you are smart enough and if you will give it more time you will learn uh, different uh, edit options which the developer or the creator of this watch face allows you anyways you have to press synchronize now it's telling you to open the clockology app on your apple watch to continue synchronizing you just scroll down i have placed this app right in front and when you click it now you can see that we have this watch face it's a beautiful watch face by chance i just got this watch face thanks to this video <laughs> so you must have this question that where this uh, face is saving and how i can access it again and how i can keep adding more and where i'm going to uh, access all those watch faces it, it, you go into workspace uh, this the first one is home then workspace then it's a setting go to uh, workspace in workspace uh, you can see it gives you option of your recent imports i have added so many of them and i'm a bit confused right now because some are being synchronized with my watch but still i deleted them from my files app but still these watch faces are here and uh, you can see that in, the same watch face is twice here. I cannot change it uh, or maybe I cannot delete it right now. I will uh, find out how I can get rid of uh, multiple faces. Then maybe I'll make another video about it. By the way, if you are interested in any of these watch faces, which you have seen in my Clockology app, you can comment below and I'll try to upload these faces on any of the cloud drive. You can thank me later. So uh, all these watch faces are uh, now in my uh, files app if you click files app in your files app in iCloud drive you will find this clockology folder and uh, when you click this clockology folder you will find this recents just forget about these watch faces I'll tell you in a while so the these recents one are the ones which you see here got my point so whenever you are going to synchronize any of the watch face it's going to uh, save that watch face in your clockology folder recent one so all these watch faces are here and when i'm going to delete any of this watch face from here it's not deleting from this place i don't know why you know it gets add again i don't know what is the problem so whenever you want to change any watch face you just go there and you press synchronize and uh, for the very first time to install this watch face you have to use this synchronize option but if you are in your custom watch faces by apple and you want to turn on any of the watch face uh, all you have to do is uh, just go to your clockology app on your iphone and uh, select any of the uh, watch face which you like uh, click it and then you synchronize it it's going to open that watch face in front of you and after that you can you don't have to uh, select every single time the watch face uh, then easily you can uh, swipe between all the watch faces you, which you have already installed the way i told you you just keep scrolling so this is a problem now um, before that uh, what i was doing that i was scrolling between the watch faces which i have been using maybe the app updated and it's not working anymore but previously it was working like this for the very first time when I wanted to um, use the uh, Clockology watch face and this is my uh, Apple watch face. So uh, what I used to do that I open uh, my Clockology app on my iPhone. I select any of the uh, watch face and press synchronize and it says that open your Clockology app on your watch, uh, Apple watch. I open it and then it do this synchronizing thing and now this watch face in front of it then from this watch face i used to scroll and select between any of these watch face i don't have to uh, do it again and again by going into clockology app on my iphone uh, now this thing changed um, in between this tutorial i have no idea what is the problem i used to swipe down it used to take me there and then um, things like that but unfortunately it's not working this way uh, let me check again if it's going to do it i don't know so this is just another problem with uh, these third party apps because they have limited access they have limited permissions uh, by apple uh, they cannot uh, 
I mean, implement everything easily. Uh, but um, in general, it's it's a really good thing. I mean, you can see this watch face, this Rolex face. It's beautiful watch face. You want this um, longiness face? You can. I don't know how they pronounce it. I, we call it longiness, longiness, whatever it is. You see, um, this is a beautiful watch face. You can. No one can say that uh, this is. I mean, some digital watch or some mm, screen or something like that. So um, the other one I have this Bratling. I'm just going through all these watch faces which I discovered and I'm going to tell you that how you can discover uh, these famous watch faces from famous uh, watch brands. You see, this is beautiful. You are wearing it with some uh, leather strap. In any of the party, you will look good really. No one can say that it's some sort of a fitness watch. So uh, this is another watch face which I really love. And I love this one as well, Bretling. Bretling faces are very good. This one is beautiful. And uh, the other one is the simple one. I was scrolling through different watch faces. I tried to search few just to add in my library. So, so this is the basic uh, way of um, getting any uh, watch face directly from uh, this Telegram app. It's going to uh, take you to this Clockology app. So what if you are is in your free time scrolling through this Clockology, uh, Clockology uh, chat and if you like any watch face, you don't want to go into uh, that process of sharing it to your uh, watch and then synchronizing and things like that. You just want to save that for later. It's very easy. Let's say uh, we like this one, which I don't like actually. You just press it. It's going to download it. All right. You open it. And now, instead of selecting this Clockology, you uh, just save it to your Files app. And in Files app, you go to your um, Clockology folder. And here, I like I told you before, that this is the recent one which Clockology uses whenever you are going to install your uh, watch faces. But this place is for my own watch faces, which I have saved and I haven't installed on my Clockology app yet. So you are going to save this Otavia, here vintage, this is the face and the same one I'm going to tell you how you are going to install it later after uh, saving it. So we are going to save it in main Clockology folder, not the one in um, uh, recent one. Okay, we are going to save it here. It's done. Now we are done. So how we are going to install it on our Clockology? It's very easy. You open your Clockology app on your iPhone and go into the second tab workspace and here you can clearly see import. Press this import button. Now you can see that um, the recent is not from the Clockology folder. It's from my iPhone file system. iCloud Drive, then Clockology. And here you can see uh, all the faces. This one we installed. We are going to click it and we will say open. Okay. Now we are on, the, on that window where uh, you are going to install it. You press this sync. I have to go through this. I don't like this watch face, but for the sake of this video, I'm installing it. I cannot stop it right now. I mean, all right. Um, and I have noticed that some watch faces takes a uh, little bit time and some are very quick. I don't know. It's all about the graphics and things like that. The information that file has, I have no idea. So uh, now you can see that it's in your recent one as well. But the problem is again, same. If I go to Clockology folder, recent folder, this is Clockology recent folder and I delete it. Okay, um, somehow it's not going anywhere from here. Even if I choose the other face, it is going to be visible in our recent one. And I don't know how I can get rid of this uh, from here. If I'll find out uh, this thing, or definitely I'll find out, I'll make a, another short video about it. But so far I'll, I'm loving it. And I wanted to share uh, this process of having these cool uh, looking watch faces on uh, these watches, these Apple watches. It's very powerful and it's very good and it's very accurate. Some faces doesn't uh, fit very well. Um, maybe this one is that one. Let me show you. You see this, this Casio is, I mean, it's out of the frame. It goes under the bezel. So uh, this watch face is very good. I don't know where my uh, recent one is gone. Maybe they are limiting us to uh, have many watch faces. Sometimes it just um, doesn't give you the right face. You see, I selected this one and uh, it's continuously showing me uh, this TBW, I mean, swatch face. 
so uh, there are some bugs always so how you are going to find these um, famous watch faces uh, without scrolling through all these um, existing one which people are sharing it's very simple you go to your clockology face you click this clockology official banner and then from here uh, you click this more and from here you can search for like um, swatch you can see two of 79 this is a perfect example you just keep scrolling and when you see any name which clicks you just press it it will take you directly to that watch face the name is in the middle and the preview is above that so this is omega swatch you can again go to this share and instead of installing it right away just save it to your files and you can import it you don't have to do it in clockology folder any folder which you want to keep you can um, save all these watch faces later when you will install it it will go into that uh, clockology folder so this is how you can get beautiful watch faces for your apple watch so i hope you have learned something from this video today uh, i tried to explain everything in a very easy way um, I, i'm also new to this thing i uh, never used it before i'm wearing apple watch like i told you in my previous video since so many years now but i always use these custom faces uh, by apple and now i really like this thing especially when i'm going to some sort of uh, get together and some sort of dress up sort of place so i i want my watch to look like a watch not a traditional some uh, fitness watch sort of thing so uh, i hope you like today's video if you like today's video give me a thumbs up and tell me in comments that which watch face you are using now and you have discovered so we are going to adopt that if it's good so see you in the next one till then peace <laughs>